Oh, Leonardo. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hi. Um, I have just been filming my whole intro while I wasn't actually recording. I'm just like super stoked to be at home in my studio filming for you guys. I've been in San Diego for a while with Nick and then we were here working on some projects and it was really good for my mental health because I have been like during this whole quarantine thing, it's been a little depressing for me. Everything with Instagram and engagement on Instagram and YouTube has been very kind of like up and down and volatile and it's almost like if you work a job that's like where you you aren't your own employer kind of a thing like with YouTube like we film and we put up stuff but it's the same feeling like when you feel like your boss might fire you that's the kind of stress youtubers and Instagrammers feel when their their content doesn't get a lot of views or engagement or people don't seem interested in it but it's been affecting everyone and youtubers are no different brands aren't paying for videos right now so we're solely relying on AdSense and so when your views aren't very good or people aren't really engaging and stuff you know that's your progress that's okay i'm not trying to pressure anyone to do that but it does give that looming kind of depressing feeling like you might be losing your job this is not a poor us sob story at all by any means uh, i'm just saying because of that it's kind of affected me in kind of a negative way the quarantine whole situation and um just not being able to go out and see my friends and my family it's just been that's a big part of my life so it's been a little depressing and i'm sure other people can relate and i posted this on twitter i was like quarantine is literally like a motherfucking breakup like one minute you're sad as shit the next minute you want to eat everything in sight and then the next day you want that revenge bod and you get out there and you work out and then you're binge watching all the shit tv show you can find it's just like it's literally like a breakup and some of you were like i'm going through a breakup and quarantine at the same time and like hats off to you because that's hard but at least you're killing two birds with one stone and it's not like the quarantine and then a breakup anyways that's like the longest intro in the world i did put up a vlog um not many of you seem to really care for the vlogs very much the views on that are never really super great i do enjoy doing them so that was fun if you want to check it out we planted a garden, it was very cool. So I saw this viral TikTok makeup hack when I was in San Diego and I really wanted to film it. I was even gonna film it on my vlog camera, but I had no setting spray. So I wasn't able to film it. I'm gonna watch this on my phone and we're gonna do it step by step and see what, see how it turns out. Like this is really interesting to me. I'm, I'm excited to see, I haven't worn makeup in probably like a month and a half. So I feel like it's gonna feel really cakey to me, but Let's try it out. If you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Moisturize first. I'm gonna use the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. Oh, it feels so good, it's hot in here. It's so humid in Nashville today. It just soaks into the skin and never really disturbs any of my foundation or anything. What is this? Do you guys see my backdrop isn't quite wide enough right here? <laughs> I'm trying to fix that. Okay, what's next? Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one, and I just lightly dab it all over my face. Not too much. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty uh, Pound Cake. Is that what this is called? Yeah, Pound Cake Translucent Setting Powder. She said not a lot, just a little. So I'm gonna use this little brush. Oh, this stuff smells so good. So good. Dab this on here. Dude. I am on season six of 90 Day Fiance. I feel like I have only been talking about 90 Day Fiance and nothing else, but I love Fernanda in this season. Do you guys know she's the uh, one from Mexico? I freaking love her. I think she's so, she's a little immature, but I mean, who isn't at her age? She's 19. Like, I really like her. I think she's freaking awesome. Who I don't like, I don't even remember her name. That's how much I don't care, is the chick from Indonesia. Um, she's super rich back in Indonesia and I just haven't seen her like even touch or kiss or love on the dude that she's with at all. Like, I just don't understand why they're together at all. Like, it makes no sense. They don't even seem like they like each other and her family's super wealthy back in Indonesia. So I don't really know, like, is it for the green card? Does she, like, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't see any love. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. Okay, I'm gonna use the Morphe Prep and Set. And the reason I'm gonna use this over one of my favorite uh, Urban Decay ones is that this has a tendency to just go on super even, whereas the normal spray one like this, oh my God, it has baby on it, that's so cool. I feel like so special every time I see that. <laughs> um, this one kind of will splatter some bigger pieces on there. So I'm gonna use this one. I 
also wait for the setting spray to dry first. Wait for the setting spray to dry. <laughs> I knew this thing would come in handy. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. I'm gonna go in Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. It feels so weird putting this not on clean skin. You know, I'm trying to press lightly too because I feel like I'm gonna move everything around that we've already put down. It's funny, everything that I've used so far just smells so fresh and clean. Like I love fresh and clean. What I don't love is makeup or stuff that smells like food. Like a candle that smells like vanilla or lemon. Kill me now. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is gonna look. And it's gonna stay on 24 seven and it's not gonna crease. I'm gonna use a pure four in one love your selfie long wear foundation. And the shade is in LG six. <sighs> yeah, so this one's kind of interesting. You, it has a little thing there and then you can actually do this like concealer. I'm like really interested to see like if I notice a difference, but I feel like it's not gonna, I don't know, I just haven't put makeup on in so long that this is just so weird right now what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll remember what it used to look like. Forgot what it looked like to have an even skin tone. This is so exciting. Do I have a mirror, anybody? Anybody, I need a mirror. I need a mirror. If you ever wanna try any pure products too, I also have a discount code that'll get you a nice little discount. I'll put it on the screen for you. So I just dampened this, this is the new Dose of Colors sponge and I'm not really quite sure exactly how new it is because I have been in San Diego for a while and my packages were kind of piling up here. So I don't really know. I feel like this would be really good for concealer but it's also kind of big right here so I don't know. Let's just try it out and see. Good for getting around my nose rings, that's for sure. So I'm not noticing this foundation like going on any differently than it normally does. Then again, like I said, I haven't worn foundation for like over a month. Okay, I, like, I think I like the brush better for this right now. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not noticing anything different here. It kind of looks the same so far, applies the same so far. Huda Beauty Concealer. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that. This is a rad brush. This is um, a, an airbrush concealer brush by Luxie. I also have a discount code for Luxie. I really like Luxie brushes. I use them a lot. I, I go based on like shape, honestly, um, because my all time favorite is actually uh, Moda brushes because you can get them at Walmart. They're just super affordable and cute and soft and everything. I have a code for them too. So if you get them at Walmart though, you can't use my code, but they're at Walmart and super easy to get. So How, have, have any of you tried this? hack like if you have already used this let me know how it works out for you i have a feeling like it kind of matters like what foundation you use and stuff because all foundation varies slightly i think with ingredients so i feel like it would could react a little differently depending on the foundation that you use and everything and the powder and whatnot i don't know if you're supposed to powder again after the foundation but i assume you are so we're gonna go ahead and powder again a lot of you have been asking too, I thought I'd answer about um, my breast augmentation surgery. Um, it has been postponed so many times and currently it's scheduled for the end of May. All right, here's what we have so far. I mean, it looks pretty good. I didn't notice it like applying any differently though. Like I feel like this is just kind of what this foundation always looks like. So this side particularly looks really good. I keep getting these like little sunspots all over my forehead right there. I want them to die. I am going to do my eye makeup and I think I'm not gonna film it because I just kind of want to zen out and like do my makeup and not worry about my battery dying or anything like that. Um, Cause I haven't done my makeup in like a month and I just want to kind of enjoy it. So I'm not gonna film it, but I'll be back. We will do the face makeup and see if that like kind of messes with anything or just like kind of how it works. And then see what we think. 75 years later. Okay, so I did a little bit of eyeshadow and by a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> okay, so let's do a little bit of contouring, blush, etc., and see how we do. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Matte Soleil. The um, skin is still looking pretty good, uh, the base. I, it is creasing around my nose a little bit here. 
think I'm gonna chop my hair off today too. That should be another video because who knows what that's gonna look like. I uh, did a video where I gave my boyfriend a haircut and I actually did a pretty good job, you guys. All the hairstylists were being like, you did so good. It made me feel warm and fuzzy inside and it made me feel like I should probably just start cutting his hair all the time. <laughs> Is calmness forward? Cause now we got a dick looking head mother. No, right leave, here. no, leave that, leave that. <laughs> <laughs> if I legit, if I look like a penis, how can you take a picture of it? Um, I feel like he needs a haircut all the freaking time and he's always got to make an appointment and go in. It's like this whole thing. I mean, he lives in California and I don't, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild, what is this? Mega Glow Loose Highlighter Powder. What's the shade? It's not on here. Cool. This is not the right brush. I haven't done makeup in so long. This just feels so weird. It's like I forgot. We're gonna set this one more time. All right, here's the final. Did I ever show you guys? I have a Q-tip tattooed on my finger right there. I randomly came up with that in a tattoo shop like 10 years ago. Holy hell, that's been on there for a long time. Wow. Finished with the makeup. Um, It is creasing around my nose. It's creasing around my nose. It's kind of not creasing in the smile lines right now, which is good. Everything else looks pretty good. I actually really like the way that it looks, but I've been, I haven't been wearing makeup for a month. So I feel like this is how it looked before, but I think it looks, it looks pretty good. Um, also, like I said, lately, I feel like as I've gotten older, like foundation just keeps looking worse and worse and worse on me. So I'm liking this formula right now. I feel like I keep going through different formulas. It gets too greasy on me or like creases too much or looks too cakey. This one I'm really liking right now. So I don't typically do wear tests because I feel like my skin's just kind of weird. Like it hangs on to make it pretty well. Overall, I like how this looks. I feel like I'm gonna have to live with this today and just see, but to me, it kind of looks the same. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you guys ever tried this method of foundation application? Like, has it, what do you think? Has it worked for you? Has it not? Have you seen a difference? I'd love to hear from you guys and see. And I think after this, I'm gonna go watch a couple of my friends' videos that did this. I think Jordy did one and Nicole Concilio did one and I haven't watched them, but I wanted to, actually I started watching Jordy's and I got distracted, but um, I wanna watch it and see what they thought. Cause like, I don't know if I see any difference, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I think I'm gonna be putting this eyeshadow look on Instagram. So if you're curious about it and what products I did use, I'll try and link them in the description box, but I will also most likely have this on Instagram unless I look at the footage and absolutely hate how it turned out. I haven't really looked up close in my eyeshadow at all yet. So <laughs> thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.